Is it raining? Is it raining? Is it raining, Flo? No, 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 no. It's very rainy. It's blowing an absolute hooli out there, isn't it? Wild. It's wild. In fact, it's wilder than it was when Storm Babette hit. Or is it still Storm Or is this still Storm Babette? We don't know. We've been discussing this over a coffee this morning. We've been discussing whether this is still Storm Babette or not. Anyway, guys, good morning. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. Hope you've had a great week. It is Saturday. I am finally vlogging again. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a long time. I think I've, I've, had to, I've had to pass the mantle over to Zoe because I've been at work. So she's done lots of cool vlogs, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, it's sad, guys. Uh, our plans have somewhat changed. So initially, we were going to go to... Cooper Park. Cooper Park. You're right there, Zoe. Sorry, I've been stuck in the Originally, we were going to Cooper Park. Uh, that is now out of the window because this weather is in all day. All day and possibly tomorrow. I know, it's looking better tomorrow, but... Is it? Maybe, not much better maybe we can go tomorrow who knows i mean it's what is it half eight now it's half eight in the morning now and this hello. is this is literally setting the day oh hello do you want to say hello say hello say hello come here <laughs> she's a little cutie she is a little cutie so yeah it's saturday i'll, I'll finish work for the week in fact i've finished work now for two weeks two weeks i've got off um really really looking forward to it really looking forward to our little mini break as well yeah yeah it's just nice to it's just nice to have some time off and concentrate on the things that we want to concentrate on which is making videos and doing the other stuff that we're doing anyway right today so we've had a bit of a curveball thrown in again as well as well as the weather i went to pick up the chinese last night didn't i zoe yeah so it was nicely tucked up under a blanket uh, I went to pick the Chinese up in, in Lossy Mouth, picked the Chinese up in Lossy Mouth. Driving over there I thought something isn't right, something's not right with the car. Uh, and while I was at the Chinese I checked the tyres, I've got one flat tyre. So I don't know... I've just, so I've just got two new tyres on the front, on the front of the car. And I got them changed on Wednesday and now one is flat. 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 As a pancake. So, it could have been one of two things. It could have been not either it needs to be looked at again because it's not fitted right or um i've hit a screw or a nail or something and that's probably what the real truth is i've probably bought a brand new tire gone out and hit a nail or something or a screw and uh, and now it's flat so that's going to be my job this morning once we've got the kids or well, the kids are breakfasted we're going to get them dressed yet um is to go into lossy mouth in this weather and try and sort the car out because i've abandoned it in lossy mouth so that's my Saturday morning done 
and dusted. It's me sorting the car out. What are you doing anyway? You've got some stuff to do, have you? So obviously Zoe will be vlogging as well, won't you? You'll, do, you'll do, do some vlogging as well. I've got this little, what are you, what are you doing? Scrubbing my legs. Hang on, why don't you come up and say hello? Hold that a minute, Zoe. Say hi to the people of planet Earth. The people of planet Earth. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Is that better? Is that better? So, on top of that. Hi. Hi. Oh, you've got another dummy. Say. Where did say, you get that from? Hi. Are you magic? Say hi. Say hello. Don't want to. I don't want to say hello. So, on top of that, I've got a bit of news about my. I'll just put her down for a minute. There you go. Yeah, on top of that, I've got a bit of news about my health. Um, I don't know whether you would have noticed last Sunday, I wasn't looking too great, but it was basically because I've been for MRI scans on my heart, um, and that was all of the drugs they give you, the you know the radioactive drugs they give you, so they can see what's going on coming out of my body, basically. It's a good job you didn't vlog last weekend, because you didn't look. I didn't look great. No. I did no. I vlogged on Sunday, but I I, I think I talked to myself. Yeah, well, my face was puffy. Yeah, you didn't. And as all that stuff was coming out. Um, yeah. So basically, I'm not going to go into it too much because I'm going to be doing a vlog on it. And I think um, had a colleague at work not talked about his problems, um, I wouldn't have got mine checked out. So I'm going to be doing a vlog on what's happened with my health scare, if you like. Um, basically to put it all in a nutshell uh for the last year or so when we've been going out for walks and if i do anything too strenuous i've been really really tired and i couldn't understand why i mean i'm the same person it's the same fitness all that sort of stuff and i was getting tired and, and if i'd pushed myself i was getting this pain in my chest here uh, like if we were doing one of the big hills in Lossy Mouth or something like that, I'd get this pain in my chest. But I didn't think anything of it. And we were talking, Zoe and I were talking, and I thought, is it indigestion? Is it, is it like, is it just age or whatever? Uh, but anyway, um, one of the guys at work was talking about his path to, to getting fixed. And basically he was getting the same thing. But as it turned out, um, he went through all of the tests and he had um, an artery in his heart that was blocking. So he went for an angiogram, then for an angioplasty, which is where they put a stent in, and he's fixed. Had he not done that, he he might, you know, a few years down the line, he might not even be here. So, because um, it was in one of the arteries that is very, very serious, and if it gets blocked, it's kind of game over. Anyway, so I thought I'd get it checked up from the doctors. Uh, went along to the doctors, and they did a, an ECG and all that kind of stuff. Didn't really. I uh, weren't, weren't really too concerned, but because of family history and all that, they sent me through to Dr. Gray's for a sonogram and uh, another ECG. So following the sonogram at uh, Dr. Gray's, I, went, I then went over to, um, to see the, oh, they went to the cardiologist and I saw the cardiologist, didn't I, after that? I thought that was something else. No, that was Dr. Gray's, I saw the cardiologist first. So I saw the cardiologist, he was kind of like, mm, there is, yeah, let's get you checked out anyway to be on the safe side. So then I went over to Aberdeen, uh, to Inverness for two MRI scans, one on the Wednesday, um, which is where they put your heart under pressure, and then one on the Thursday where they don't. And it's just a normal MRI scan of your heart. Anyway, subsequently after all of that, I've been and seen the cardiologist, he's phoned me up, and they have found that one of my arteries in my heart is, um, there's a significant reduction, they call it a, a significant reduction in blood flow, in, in oxygen and blood flow. So they want me to go for an angiogram, uh, where they put the, they, they put the um, thingy up your vein into your heart with dye and whatnot, and, th and then maybe have the angioplasty, which is to get my heart fixed by having a stent. So if I've looked a little bit um, under the weather recently, that's why. And I wanted to just, I want to just give you it in a nutshell because I am going to be doing a vlog on it because I think it's really important to share that information because it might well be that anybody that's listening or watching, watching the vlog that I do might well think to themselves, do you know what? I might get that checked out and if I hadn't got it checked out I wouldn't have known anything about it so and I'm just so glad I did so now I'm going to get fixed anyway today guys so um, yeah some of the older ones are up say hi <laughs> you're right anyway um, we're now gonna go and get the kids dressed 
We're going to go up, get sorted out, and then we're going to be away to do what we're going to do. Because you're, you're going to drop me over to Lossy Mouth. So he's dropping. So he's dropping me over to Lossy Mouth. What do you mean? Who's going to look after you? You've got an 18-year-old, a 17-year-old, two 16-year-olds. I think you'll be fine for 10 minutes. Yeah. Just aged. Yeah. Aged up. I've also got to find fuel. They are 16, aren't they? Oh, 16 or 15. Oh, um, two 15 year olds. I've got to find fuel as well. Somewhere. You've got to find fuel? Yeah. Well, well, we've got a drilling rig somewhere, have we? fuel in my car, in my car, yeah. Oh, I've right. enough fuel yesterday to get me into Elgin tomorrow morning. Little did I know that you were going to phone me and say, I need rescue you from Lettermouth. And I'd have to go all the way to Lettermouth. I only rescued you because you have my Chinese. Um, oh, that's all right, because we would have walked back. I left you there fixing the car. And now I've got to go to Lossy Mouth and back, and I don't know if the garage is open, so I might have to go via Bishop Mill. Right. I would. Instead. I would. Get fuel first. Which means I've got to go out on the country roads in this weather. Country roads? Let's hope there's no trees down. Well, at least the weather's good, eh? So there's nothing to worry yeah, about there. Bus. Right, anyway, we're going to get sorted out, guys, and we'll catch you in a minute. Okay guys, so we went over to uh, check the car out, big puddles, big puddles. We went over to check the car out and um, none of the garages are open in Lossy. Um, I don't know how good the spare is and it is absolutely horrendous, the weather is horrendous. So we made the executive decision, didn't we Zoe, that we'll, um, we'll leave my car in Lossy Mouth. Especially as you've got to get under the car to get your spare out. Yeah, I've got to get under the car to get the spare out. Right. It's, it's horrendous, the weather. So um, we're going to leave the car in Lossier. I'm going to sort it out on Monday. Obviously, we're away on Wednesday, so we need to get the car sorted as soon as possible. But the tyre is totally flat. Um, it can't be anything that serious. It's just either you've got like a puncture or like you said. I think, I think it's got to be punctured. It's a new tyre. It's so just got to be punctured. It's just been a terrible Yeah. So we're just heading... Easy fix. It's just Have you got your snack? She's almost finished. Florence, have you got your snack? Hello. We're back. It's absolutely blowing a hooli out there. Are you still finishing your snack off? Yes, yeah, it takes a while. Is it yummy? Can Daddy have one? Can Daddy have one? Ah. Right, so we are back home, obviously, as you can see. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the decision made about the car. Going to sort it out on Monday. It's going to be easier because the garages are open and stuff, so it's going to be a lot easier. Uh, right, so me and Zoe have just had a chat. It is now 10 to 11. We're going to get a bit of... Uh, a bit of work done before we chill out after lunch because I think what I'll do with the kiddies is they have been nagging me to do play doh. What? Yeah, I know. Play doh sends me into hives as well, um, especially when you start carpet in the dining room. Anyway, uh, they've been nagging me to do play doh. So every every time I see uh, Agnes, she goes, Daddy, can we do play doh? Can we do play doh? Can we do play doh? So, All right, do some play doh after lunch. So I'm going to do some play doh after lunch, but Zoe is. Uh, in the meantime, she's doing some jobs in the boys' room, and I'm going to go up and put the shelves up. So, that'll be a little job done, won't it? What's up? What's up with Florence? What's up? Come here. Oh, dear, bless her. She's 
She alright? She's tired. She tired? Are you tired, baby? Are you tired? Oh, that's a tired baby for this one. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go up to the boys' room and I'm going to put some shelves up so I feel like I've achieved something today, which would be nice. It's nice to feel like you've achieved. Uh, and then this afternoon for put me. Put a Christmas film on. Eh? Put a Christmas film on. Put a Christmas film on. You've been doing it every single day. Have you? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you know this, but Isabel loves Christmas. We all love Christmas in this house, but Isabel should have been born an elf. Really, you should have been born a Christmas elf, shouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, uh, and you should be up there now helping Santa sort sort stuff out. So um, Isabel loves the Christmas, so she's been finding Christmas films to put on for the kids, which is really fun. Um, well, have you been watching Nativity, okay. Nativity Two, Elf? What else have you been watching? Home Alone. Yeah. It's that time of year, isn't it? It's that time of year now. Can't ask Christmas. Can't ask Christmas. Right, uh, so I'm going to go upstairs and give Zoe a hand to put the shelves up. Wake me up, I'm getting tired of sleep. Think I've had enough. I've been gone, but haven't done the spiel. It's pretty clear to me. Kind of strange, I can take a beat from my bed. It's like no one else even really scratches the surface Cause nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets me I'm looking for faith, looking for love in every direction I'm looking for someone to show Okay, so I've managed to get one shelf done One shelf, so that's it I've done one shelf. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me, wife? Yeah. I've done one shelf and I managed to get stuck on the ladder. Okay, I've got my leg stuck. I wasn't as graceful as Zoe. Oh, she's saying Zoe now. Zoe, she keeps calling me Ben. The baby keeps calling me Ben all the time. Cause the, right, for a joke, yeah, the older ones started calling me Ben, right? For a joke, because I say no, it's daddy or dad, right? No, so they start calling me Ben, yeah. They've not stopped. Now all the little ones call me Ben, and now Florence is calling me Ben. And she's just called you Zoe. She did. Honestly, I actually think it's quite funny myself. Uh, right, are you gonna are you carry on here? Oh, I'll go see what Joseph wants. Are you carrying on here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take Noah to work in this horrendous weather, but he's still working. So I'll get him to work. Well, he's uh, got to to work as well. And then it'll be lunch as well, won't it? Hello, why anybody wants to go out this I don't know. Uh, right, so uh, I'm gonna take him to work. So I'll see you in a minute. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay, so um, it looks like it's snowing now as well. Just a little bit of uh, added weather. So I'm half done in the boys' room. I wanted to get all of it clean today and um, beds changed, but I'm not going to get a chance because obviously I had to go to Lossie this morning and that throws banner in the works and I've got to go out and get some shopping this afternoon. So I've changed the boys' beds um, and I've had a quick clean. It still needs a bit... Obviously, I know it still needs decorating and there's still stuff in the corner that needs to go up on the walls, but um, I haven't yet got into... I used to be in a routine of changing the beds and then obviously cleaning the room and all that sort of stuff for the younger ones obviously the older ones do their own i haven't quite got back into a routine of doing it all just yet so obviously the beds are being changed and i'm quickly cleaning round but i haven't kind of got into a proper routine of um of cleaning everything so it's just kind of getting done in bits uh which it kind of has been today i did i think have a clean around here the other week so it's not actually too bad but like I need to take everything off the windowsill and give it a bit of a dust and give that corner a dust and that corner a dust over there. I need to take this down because it's still just living here and I need to take it down and put it out in the corridor because we're going to put all the dressing up stuff on it eventually. We just haven't got around to doing it yet. I need to have a quick tidy up of those shelves and a dust off and then that'll be done. But I've kind of done half of it. So I've done the top and these units and now I'm going to have to abandon it and go on to the next the next job of the day uh, before we do lunch. What are you two 
she doing? Yeah, that's Daddy, I got it all set up. All right, come here a minute. Come on, come here. Okay, we've had lunch. Come here, come here, quick. Come here, come here. Okay, okay we've had lunch and the weather is still howling out there. It's howling. Noah is at work. Elizabeth is just about to go to work. Zoe's going to go out to the shops in a minute. Are you going to go out to the shops in a minute? Yeah. <laughs> so Zoe, Zoe, let's have a look at, let, let, look at Zoe's tiara. It's very nice. I love it. <laughs> Joe, you actually look like you're going on a hen night or something. <laughs> So what we're going to do, see if the weather is so she keeps calling she keeps calling us Zoe. Zoe! Zoe! That's so funny. So funny. We're doing play-doh. Yeah, what I'm trying to say What I'm trying to say is we're gonna do a bit of play-doh now, aren't we? We're gonna do a bit of play-doh? Yeah. And we're gonna get uh, Florence playing play-doh as well, yeah? Yeah. Sorry, I just I was moving my selfie stick because a lot of people walking past. That way and that way. Woo! Okay, don't do the splits on stairs. Should we go play play down? Yeah. Okay, let's go play play down. Posters up. Yeah. Oh, they're really cool, Toby. Mhm. Mm Are you happy with your shelf? Yeah. At least you've got a shelf now. I love your posters. Yeah. Oh, they're really cool. Well done. They look really smart. Good boy. Okay, so what have you done then? Let's have a look. Squidward. Let's have a look. Squidward. So we've got Squidward. Is that Mr. Mr. Krabs? Mr. Krabs. Is that a fellow? <laughs> Is that SpongeBob? SpongeBob. And Plankton. Plankton. That's really cool. It's really I, cool. I love it. I also made a hot dog. A hot it's, dog? It's gone. Oh, did you have it for your tea? You forgot about Patrick. Patrick? Oh, yeah. Let's have a look. We Ah, it's pants. Look what I'm going to do, blue. A sky. I'm sorry, guys, oh, no. but you, you, you won't do all we need to go. Would you? They're really cool. What have you made? Nothing yet. Oh. 
Oh, it's all printed. It was in the printer. Wait, I can make a shape, a perfect book. We're gonna shape what else can we do? Yes. Uh, what video am I Squidward! Guys, see what you do with this? You put it on this. And then make it a roll away. Can I have a shot? Toby, this is so yeah, smooth. Yeah, can add multiple things. Toby, what? Do you remember this? I think Play-Doh is actually Agnes's favourite game of all time. Honestly, she gets so excited. If you say you're playing Play-Doh, she gets so excited. And Florence loved it. She absolutely loved it. Well, she got to a point where she was using the rollers, and then she bumped her face, bless her. So she went in with Charlotte for a little bit. She started to cry, but she loved that. So she was playing Play-Doh for a good 45 minutes. So that's good, isn't it? Right, uh, Zoe is still out with the girls shopping. I think she's going to be bringing Noah back in a minute because um, he's finished work. And then Elizabeth's out of work as well. So I'm not sure what time she's going to be finishing. But I'm going to have my coffee because it's pushing on now to nearly three o'clock. So I'm going, to, I'm going to have my coffee. They're going to have a snack in a minute and then we're going to tidy up. And then it'll be, lunch, it'll be tea time. Heading towards tea time. So that weather is not subsiding at all. It is absolutely crazy. I say absolutely crazy. We've had worse storms. We had Storm Arwen that year. It was a few years back now. And Storm Arwen was 100 mile an hour winds. So this, is, uh, this isn't as bad as that, but it's still blowing a hoolie. Right, guys, I'm going to go and have my coffee uh, and then I'll be tidying up. Um, so I will catch you after. So we have braved the weather to come out and get some shopping uh we didn't get out till a bit later than planned because i had to go through and drop lizzie off at work um then i got to elgin and noah phoned me and said he needed a lift so i had to go back to lossie to pick him up and then take him home and then come back out so i've been driving around quite a lot today um we had to go to home bargains i've just noticed there's actual handprints on my roof yeah, there is. Yeah, it's a lot of Um, yeah, we had to pop to Home Bargains and get some bits. Uh, and go to Tesco's and Asda. So, I need to pick up enough stuff. Obviously, we're going away halfway through the week. Um, so I needed to pick up enough stuff. Because we won't be doing a shop on Monday. Just to get us through till we go away. And also some bits to take with us. Because we will do the majority of our shopping when we get down there for food. But there was a couple of bits last time we went that we couldn't get down there um because there's no asda um and it's only a small tesco's and then they've got aldi there was a couple of things that we wanted that we didn't get last time so we just want to take some bits with us and just in case we don't get to go out and do the shop until like the next day um we wanted to make sure that we've got some stuff to take with us plus I lives away tomorrow so she needed to pick up some stuff for taking with her as well so i think we've got everything that we needed I think and probably some bits that we didn't uh i don't want to take too much stuff with us because obviously we've got um a smaller car this time although we do have roof bags but we used to be able to fit the push chair in the back of ben's car but it won't fit i don't think unless he can make it fit maybe if he took the wheels off there's a possibility i don't know but it'll probably have to go in the roof bag um anyway <clears throat> that's for another day so we're now going back through to Lossie to pick Lizzie up and then we're going home and everybody should be home then and I shouldn't have to go out again anymore today I hope fingers crossed so it's actually started to ease up ever so slightly the roads are still pretty dry pretty um dreadful but the weather has started to ease up a little bit it's still raining it's still wet but it's not quite as heavy as it was earlier so I'm hoping that it gets better because it was wild in Lossie really really wild um the waves were huge you couldn't see it properly from the footage but they were massive so yeah um that's it really i'm gonna go and get lizzie and then i'm gonna go home right we've just come back to put lizzie up look it's like this is the river 
guys. Look, it's like created a whole whirlpool in the middle of the river. And there's a tree. There's a tree over there. And it's it's also like, look. I've never seen it like this before. Look, it is, there's waves on the river. It's also there. created a completely different sandbank over there to where the beach normally is. Look at that, man. That's crazy. There's waves on the river. is normally quite fairly calm the river goes into the sea this is the river Nossi comes all the way around here yeah and it goes under the bridge under the bridge and then it goes over there and it meets to the sea out there but there's actual like waves coming in on the river crazy never seen it like this look at those look at those waves coming in We're going back to the car now. We're just waiting for Lizzie, so we thought while we were waiting for Lizzie, we'd come up onto the bridge and okay. uh, and check out. It's nuts, honestly. Uh, it's just the water is just nuts. The it's sea is crazy. So I can't actually see anymore. We're we'll going to sit in the car and wait for Lizzie now. I'm fascinated by the sea. Um, I find it incredible, and. Uh, when it's like this, I've never, in all the time we've lived here, I've not seen it like this. Honestly, it's crazy, but I'm absolutely fascinated. I could watch it for hours, even even when it's, especially probably when it's rough like this, um, I could watch it because it's just, I find it fascinating. <laughs> Okay guys, everybody is back in the house, safe and sound. Uh, everybody's finished work, everybody's at home, aren't they? Zoe is at home, they finished shopping and all that stuff. All the bathing is done, the tea is done. All the little ones are just chilling out now before we put them to bed. It's about, it's nearly seven o'clock, isn't it? It's about 10 to seven. So that's pretty much it for the day, but it's been wild, isn't it? Yeah, so it started to calm down a little bit out there now. I think well the sea hasn't actually the sea was wild when the I sea is over. surging and now I'm not sure I mean we, we're just following it's the meant to um, be nicer weather tomorrow yeah just following the weather reports but it, it looks like the sea's surging but I've never seen waves knows? coming in on the river like was, in Lossie just crazy never seen it like that it's wild isn't it it's really really kind of this is the thing with uh living in Scotland it's um so obviously when I was preparing the garden for winter, this is why. Is the cat coming, is he? Come Cat's coming soon. Is he gonna come soon? Come here. Come on. Come then. Yeah. Cat's saying hello. Hi. Yeah, this is why we prepare our gardens for winter because you literally get this like Indian summer and then October it hits. And then all the storms start hitting, don't they? Yeah, no, and it's it, normally one after the other. After and we've other, we've lost an entire trampoline before because we weren't prepared. So um, that's why we do it. That's why we prepare the garden, ready, <laughs> ready, ready for winter. So yeah, it's been a it's been a really good day today. I actually had lots of fun playing Play-Doh. My goodness, though, it took me forty five minutes to tidy up afterwards. I've got Play-Doh stuck on socks. I had to get the kids changed because they were covered in Play-Doh. Um, they were all in their onesies. So I've left it all in a pile downstairs. It's covered, absolutely Almost covered in Play-Doh. So Play but they had a really good time. And Florence loved Play-Doh as well. She really, really loved it. And as for my, obviously my medical issues, um, I'm going to be doing a vlog all about it. 
So don't worry, I am okay. Um, I'm just looking forward to getting fixed or whatever from the angiogram. So I'm just looking forward to getting fixed now when we come back from our little breakaway. So um, yeah, so I will update you on that. In fact, I'll, I'll put a vlog out after it's all finished and I'm done and I'll, I'll get it on. So it tells the whole story. because so I filmed myself going to the hospitals as well. Anyway, that's it guys for Saturday, uh, Sunday tomorrow. We'll see what Sunday brings. It's definitely going to be a vlog. I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but we'll um, we'll crack on anyway. It sounds like Jos Joseph's playing Minecraft. Is he getting angry with Minecraft? I think he's getting frustrated with Minecraft. Anyway guys, that's it for Saturday. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications, drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our social media, our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And that just leaves me to say thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.